What's up Dreamer Tribe? What's up world? I am Bianca and this is my channel. So it's Friday once again and you guys know what it, that means. It's Five Things Friday. Now, for those who do not know what Five Things Friday is, um, I don't really know how anyone could be confused about it. This is basically a day where I release these videos, which are basically lists consisting of five things that are of, well, depending on what the topic is, um, it could be some uh, five things that I like, five things that I find amusing, and stuff like that, you know, just five things that are not necessarily in any particular order um, that coincides with whatever the topic of the list is. And for this Friday, I have decided that the top topic will be my biggest pet peeves. I have a lot of those, but for since this is a five things only list it will i will only be sharing five of them now i won't be talking about politics here or politicians or how um how i am so frustrated with um the delays in our paycheck no those aren't <laughs> part of this video since if i add those even though they are part of uh, the things that are that annoy me the most or are my pet peeves um, I would probably be talking here for a long, long, long time, and I only a lot like 15 to 16, 20, no more than 20 minutes, that, that's the maximum 20 minutes um, into these videos. So before we start with the actual list, let me just um, explain to you guys who do not know what the word pet peeve mean, means, um, and what it means. <laughs> and According to the Miriam Dictionary or Webster's Dictionary, a pet peeve is something that is a frequent subject of complaint. So it could be something that one finds annoying or frustrating or, you know, one that one something that actually triggers a person to give complaints. And as I have said, today's video I will be highlighting five of those pet of mine. So without further ado, let's get right to it. So again, these won't be in any particular order. So I'm going to go with um, the first thing that or the first pet peeve I have, biggest pet peeve, is uh, has something to do with people who spoil things. Now I hate spoilers. I really hate um, being spoiled about something like a book, a movie, a TV series, a video game that I am looking forward to or even thinking about playing, reading, watching, and you know, listening to if it's an audiobook. And people who, who post spoilers are like the worst kind of people, not only for those of us who have been waiting for something um, to be released and to experience, but for those people who actually took the time to make whatever it is they are spoiling. So as a person who hates spoilers, I try to, um, to the best of my abilities at least, um, not dive deep into the internet whenever something I like or something I'm looking forward to comes out. If there are news regarding um, whatever it is I'm looking for forward to, whatever those news come out, I try not to read, especially when it's like someone leaks something or spoiler for something. I do not read those things. And even when um, an article or a video or a post doesn't include such spoiler warnings, I still am very careful with whatever I'm, I'm clicking or whatever I'm viewing because it's really... Um, because it's really something I hate to be spoiled um, about something that I'm really looking forward to and um, I want to experience things for myself. I don't want to experience it secondhand because someone says something or theorizes something. I also sometimes don't like theories like 
Like when a trailer comes out, for example, the, cap the Captain Marvel trailer, and then people go and try to nitpick on that trailer, trying to find all the easter eggs, find everything that would tell them about the story, and then those people make videos and share them and post styles of what they think the movie would be. And okay, that's fine if you're not really that concerned with spoilers, but sometimes it just gets too much that it takes away whatever enjoyment you may have felt if you came in watching a movie or playing a game blind. And I want to um, keep that feeling of excitement, of being able to um, experience something without first-hand knowledge or second-hand knowledge about it because, you know, experiences matter, um, at least to me. And when you spoil something, you're taking something away from the person who doesn't want to be spoiled, which is why I almost always get angry with people who think it's funny or take it as a joke whenever I tell them not to spoil something and they go ahead and spoil it. Um, those people are the worst because I've already told them I don't want to be spoiled and they go ahead and spoil something anyways. The second thing that I consider one of my biggest pet peeves is international shipping or lack thereof. Now you may have heard um, some of my, this kind of rant from my other videos or have read it from my Twitter feed or my Facebook posts but one thing that really annoys me the most whenever I try to shop online or whenever I am interested in buying something online are the words that these this item does not ship to your country. Now I live in the Philippines. Um, I've never hidden that fact. I've I've actually um, told that a million times, well, I'm exaggerating, um, several times over the course of my videos and as uh, someone who lives in the Philippines, um, there are some things that are being sold in other places around the world that never get into the Philippines for some reason or another. And there are books that no matter how hard I try to look, no matter how much I asked for it on our local bookstores, they never get into the country as well. Um, there are some games that never reach here, and some are even only available um, as part of an online store. Like, it's exclusive for that store. An example for that are the Captain Marvel merchandise that I am. That I really want like the jacket and the mug, the t-shirt, the hoodie. Um, there are a lot of those things, not just Captain Marvel, but there's Doctor Who uh, merchandise as well. And um, some stores, most stores that I found them in, they only ship to US and Canada territories. And that just annoys me so much that I often complain about this to my friend who lives in the United States. Um, I actually always have a hard time whenever I try to order something online and I always hit that roadblock, um, which is the shipping options. I'm willing to pay actually how no matter what the price is with as long as it is within an acceptable range, you know, I'm not gonna pay like thousands and thousands of pesos for something that I've only bought for like 300 pesos, which was one of the problems I almost faced when I ordered a mug from PlayAsia, like a freaking mug, and the customs here are like asking me to pay um, custom tax for it that would have amounted to thrice the price of the mug that I bought and that's again a different complaint but it's sort of also related since it's international um, shipping but again I'm willing to pay for the shipping if only they would allow um, those items to be shipped and sold um, to people who live in the Philippines and we're missing a lot because of that I don't understand why they won't allow um, that shipping that international shipping and um, why it couldn't be a standard that 
it isn't just available for the United States and Canada. I'm guessing that has something to do with copyright, but it's I don't understand. It's actually what I'm trying to buy are Marvel merchandise, which I I think are copyrighted everywhere. So I don't really see what the problem is. All right. So after that, we have the third um, thing that I consider to be my biggest pet peeve and that is of um, prices of things having a price that ends with 99 cents what do I mean by that um, let's take for example um, the PlayStation Network um, online store and the Nintendo eShop most of the games there are priced around $39.99 $59.99, $19.99, $9.99. So that's what I meant when um, I said things that have a price that ends with $0.99. Cents. Um, why I find that to be something that I complain about is because, as you know, um, the card credits that we can buy uh, to use as payment for unlike the PlayStation Store and the eShop, um, they only sell um, in the denominations of 50, 20, and 10. Um, I think there's a $30 card. I haven't encountered it yet. I haven't seen anywhere that sells those cards. But anyway, um, so if, for example, something is... Um, priced at $29.99 and I only have like so I mostly I only have like $29 and I have to like find um, a way to get that $99 so that I could buy something and the closest that we could get that is from getting a, another $10 card and that's just um, too much you know for a 99 cents um, that is needed. So it's not really um, my biggest complaint in this list or cause of complaint in this list, but it does get annoying after a while. Um, it's really helpful that Nintendo has, has these gold points even though they do have an expiration date um, because that helps a little bit, um, though sometimes there's still that 99 cents that always seems to give me a headache in trying to figure out how to get um, just to complete the amount that I need to purchase something from the stores. Um, and even if they have sales, they, they still stick that 99 cents. And it's, it's so annoying sometimes. <laughs> My second uh, or fourth um, counting it backwards and forwards my fourth um, biggest pet peeve um, in the list that I have is rowdy noise so noise or noises are okay um, I can live through a little bit of noise but whenever it hits that certain um, point of rowdiness that is almost to the point of a riot um, uh, I'm annoyed with that like I want there to be some kind of semblance of, you know, peace or, or at least that people would not be shouting so much, especially if their voices are of the higher octave and if their voices are too loud for a particular place. Like I can work through the noise, but there is a point where some noise are just, you know, too much and it gives me a headache sometimes when it's just too rowdy and when I'm trying to concentrate or something or working on something like I can play music I can stand like rock music or even punk music if I'm feeling it but there is a certain limit to it and sometimes the limit is lower than normal depending on just how rowdy um, people are or how loud the noises are. I suppose it's part of me being an ambivert. Um, like it, sometimes rally noises 
drain me so much that I just want to, I have enough. I I want to go home. I don't want to be here anymore. Whatever, wherever um, that place that is rowdy is. Like it's okay if it's a party, but if it's not, or if the intensity of the noise is really just so high up there, I'm done. <laughs> And now we have come to the final thing on my 5 things a Friday list for biggest pet peeves and that is smokers and their smoking. So it shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone who knows me but I just hate smokers and I hate cigarettes i hate um people smoking it um there's actually a law here in the philippines that was passed that prohibits um smoking in public places and i have to say that that law is a uh, bs <laughs> it's our uh, it's an utter um useless useless law here um at least in the city where i live and i have traveled quite a bit around my province um, because of my job and we usually um, go to government establishments um, and often there would be someone someone there who is smoking and even when they are told not to they are still still smoking um, and it's so funny because it's government a building it's a place um, that it's a public public place and according to the law that was passed smoking shouldn't be allowed there but people here do not listen they are not that um, disciplined even in something um, as simple as this I have so many reasons why I hate smokers and I hate um, their smoking habit um, the chief one is that it's unhealthy um, not just for them because if they want to destroy their lungs go ahead but um, smoking actually is more dangerous to those who do not smoke who get secondhand smoking um, it's much 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 more dangerous for us and they don't seem to care and also um, because I have a strong sense of smell um, that's probably another um, another thing to add to the list that people don't know about me is that I have a strong sense of smell and often um, when someone just started smoking or lighting a cigarette even if it was a bit far from where I'm actually at I can smell it and because of that the closer they are to me the stronger the scent of the cigarette is and that gives me a headache so apart from it being you know bad for your lungs it's also bad for my health in general in my uh, gives me a headache and it just smells really bad you know and I understand if it's just them that's having the side effects of smoking but it's not it's actually a hazard for everyone that's close and people don't understand that here even with the law that, that we already have and here apparently laws are just suggestions <laughs> that are you know given by those in power and those who want to remain in power and usually they don't really follow those rules themselves it's really sad and annoying um, that it's like that here um, and that I have to encounter that in places where I shouldn't or anyone should um, find th these people doing these things but it's the reality um, here and I have nothing more to say to that that would not end to this being a rant because I'm really sick and tired of it of, of cigarettes of smoking it doesn't make you cool if you smoke and that's some that's something that young people here I sound like an old person that the younger generation seem to not understand is smoking does n does not or even the older generation actually is that smoking does not make you look cool it makes you look like a douche and um, the B word a bitch <laughs> it doesn't you don't look um, 
cool smoking. It's not even good for your health. I don't even know what it's good for. Actually, um, there's no benefit to smoking. And really, it's it's uh, out of all of these, it tops. It really tops the list. And I have to say that international shipping is the second. Um, but among these five things that I have included in the list, it's it's at the very top. I, I really, 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 really hate smoking. It's my chief complaint whenever we go somewhere and there's there's some some guy who decides to light up a cigarette even when he isn't allowed to do so. Anyway, this topic I didn't realize when I decided to make it is making me <laughs> feel frustrated just thinking about it. It's actually funny for me. Um, that I didn't, I feel like I didn't think this through <laughs> picking this topic, but hey, it's a five things Friday, and the point of this is so that apart from giving a list, you can you guys can get a sense of who I am as a person, and I hope that that um, comes across in, in this video that that. You can see that from these videos. But anyways, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you all for watching. Thank you to our new Dreamer Tribe members, our new subscribers. You guys are awesome, which I kn I'm sure you know by now. I keep saying that at the end of each video, and I do mean it. You guys are awesome. Thank you for choosing to subscribe to this video. I, have, I really appreciate it a lot. Also, what do you guys think of this video? What are your five biggest pet peeves i want to know i want to get to know you guys um i wanted to get to know my subscribers as i've said i want to build a community out of this youtube channel of mine if you guys like this video um please do tell me by clicking on that thumbs up button and um, comments are again welcome here constructive criticisms are welcome if you guys have suggestions of topics we can talk about during these five things Fridays, um, what other list do you want um, me to fill out? Um, you know, just just write in the comment section below. And also, if you enjoyed this video, um, again, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video if you want. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so already by clicking on the subscribe button below. And also, if you want to be part of our notification squad, then click on the bell icon to get notified whenever new videos comes out. And I'm trying to, you know, um, publish content almost every day if I can. I have a day job, um, as I've mentioned in this video, and I'm doing these videos whenever I get home. So, you know, I can... I can keep on dishing out these videos um, as long as I have time and I do try to make time because I really want to keep the momentum that I have right now on my YouTube channel going. I want to reach five, actually have a goal of reaching 500 subscribers before the month ends. I'm not sure if we can hit that. So if we can hit 450, that's fine. Um, you know, I just want to keep, to keep seeing this channel grow. I want to keep it growing. Um, I want to improve as well, which is why your comments and constructive criticisms are very much welcome. Anyway, we've um, I've talked long enough. Um, this video has gotten pretty long as it is. Thank you all for watching. Um, I'll see you guys on the next video, and you know the drill. Until then, dream on, fly on.